Good afternoon. Welcome to Bodog Poker. Today I thought I'd take some time and do a review of Bodog Poker for a couple of different reasons. Number one is a lot of the people that stop by unknownpoker.com and are interested in video poker reviews are looking for rooms that are U.S. player friendly. And Bodog does accept players from the United States, so put a check mark in the box next to them for that column. The U.S. players, you're allowed to play real money at Bodog. The second thing I think I need to mention about Bodog is the type of player that you're going to find. Bodog Poker is the poker arm for Bodog, the big sports betting company. So a lot of people that are attracted to Bodog and make their way to the tables eventually came in through the sports book. And they are interested in you know, placing bets on NFL games or college basketball games, boxing matches, whatever. But they have that uh, gambling mentality. When they and I can't say this for every player obviously but don't be surprised to find players at the poker table who are willing to put it in on a draw uh, if it hits EA it makes them feel good if it doesn't it just wasn't meant to be they're not not everyone even knows who Sklansky is and these guys definitely don't expect them to play poker according to Sklansky's advice um, so if an unschooled player who's willing to put money into the pot on a draw or just to see if you're bluffing because that's such a satisfying part of his game it is someone that you can call a fish then expect some fish plain and simple and I want to take a look at some of the tables to illustrate what I'm talking about now this is the Texas Hold'em lobby and these are no limit games um, let's just take a look at some of the this is a 25 max buy-in uh, reasonable pot size 66 percent of people are seeing a flop at a different 25 max game, 52%, 51, 48. Half the people see the flop at these tables. Um, let's bump it up a notch and look at uh, 50 NL. 28% average pot size, 62% of the players seeing the flop. So it's definitely not the style of poker that goes where you uh, find a big pocket pair and small blind, big blind fold fold action on you you raise everybody else folds and your queens pick up the blinds that's not what's going on at this table <laughs> so um, just to be sure different style of poker if you're interested in players who have holes in their games and you have the patience to try to exploit that definitely consider playing a bow dog because of, the, of that alone now there are more things to talk about at the poker room uh, I want to bring up the topic of poker tournaments. Hold on. I had done an entire video about the Bodog 100k guarantee tournament and oddly I got a, uh, an issue of card player lands on my desk. I'm flipping through it and Jeff Schulman in his from the publisher section um, and this is the October 14th 2008 edition of card player mentions the same thing, the Bodog 100K, and here's what he has to say about it. I'm going to read it right from Card Player. The Bodog $100,000 guaranteed tournament costs $100 to enter, pays around 90 spots, and awards more than $20,000 for first place. The tournament, which usually attracts about 600 players, has consistently required Bodog to pony up an overlay, averaging nearly $30,000 a week. Talk about value! Exclamation point. That means that this tournament gives players 30% instant equity and could be one of the best values of any tournament online." End quote. So I agree with card player. Card player agrees with me. Uh, the 100K is definitely something you should look into. Not everybody has a bankroll that allows them to play a $100 tournament on a weekly basis. So Unknown Poker uh, has gotten together with Bodog. And let's click in the scheduled tournaments to show you what we've been up to in case you haven't seen the other video or haven't been visiting the site regularly. Under scheduled tournaments I'm going to click start dates. We run on a Sunday night here we are listed in the lobby a uh, satellite it's a five dollar buy-in and the winner receives a uh, what would be a hundred and some hundred and nine or so dollar seat to the hundred thousand dollar guaranteed poker tournament so it's a cheap way for regular players to satellite into this uh, into this event so even though our bank rolls might not support the crack in a hundred dollar tournament every week it gives everybody a chance to take advantage of what really is one of the best values for an online poker player um, which is the Bodog 100k so these tournaments are password protected I'm going to click on to the unknownpoker.com website and show you where you can get the password it's in the right hand column at the top now we will be obviously everybody's going to be seeing this 
uh, video well after we run this tournament, but check here for the, the day of the tournament, for the starting time, and then the password for this week's event is win big, all in small letters, and check for passwords for you know whatever time that you'll be visiting and uh, interested in getting in on this event. So to bring that up, um, next I want to take a look at the software itself. Here's an open Bodog table. Now these guys are playing six max, uh, no limit. Uh, two and three dollar blinds. The well, obviously, as far as avatars go, players are allowed to upload their own pictures, kind of like Poker Stars or Absolute. It gives you a chance to inject some personality um, into your image at the poker room. As far as things like note taking goes, you can right click and put notes together on any of these players, and then uh, I'm not signed in, so you won't see it. I won't be able to do it. But there will be a little icon, a little note uh, icon that'll appear on his avatar that basically lets you know that you have notes on these people. When you mouse over it will not pop up so you need to open it up and take a look at it. Um, in general the software performs the functions that you want it to perform. For instance you can go up and hit the last hand and you can get a hand history of what just happened or a hand history of any of the hands that occurred while you're sitting here at the tables. But they don't have the bells and whistles like uh, a rabbit cam or uh, they won't re-top off your buy into a set amount if you're sitting at the cash tables like uh, other rooms might. So it performs the functions that need to be performed, but it doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles to it. There are some neat things about it. Um, for instance, you can change the table settings to where the tables are in separate windows, or you can have a picture-in-picture -picture view. You can change the background felt color. Um, you can't change it the way you could at full tilt to completely different places, or, or ultimate bet, to completely different scenes like Las Vegas or London or whatever. But, you know, you have to ask yourself, do you really need that? Um, gameplay settings, they use the basic ones here. You can uh, use a four-colored deck. I like to do that. I hate getting my colors mixed up. But for the most part, the software itself is not the strong point of uh, Bodog. The strong point is the player type that you're going to find at the tables, and then the value that you can find in uh, the 100K guarantee and you know some of the other tournaments that go on at the place. The room has been running, and I can't guarantee it lasts forever. A 100% reload bonus, you can see it in the lower left here. And basically what that does is you reload, you have bonus money to work with, all the time if you're a regular player and that probably takes the place of rake back for a lot of people. Um, is If we're going to get into topics like that we may as well address what the high volume online poker player looks for in a room and uh, they max you out at Bodog at four tables at the same time. A lot of players that could practically make it or do make a living playing online poker like to play six eight ten twelve tables at a time for the longest time Bodog would only allow you to have three tables open so those kinds of players would take a pass at Bodog uh, it's a measure of what I would term as fish protection obviously you can find sharks in any waters but as a way to keep those professional players away from Bodog they limit the amount of tables that you can play at. Now for me, I think if a player can play four tables at the same time, that should be plenty. That should be plenty of action. But just to be aware, if you're a big multi-tabler and you didn't know it and you've made it this far in the video, no, you can't open up 12. Um, as far as Bodog's compatibility with some of the tracking software, and not tracking in the way that you can save your hand histories and review what you did and learn from your mistakes, in copy and paste them into a forum and, and uh, you know, learn, get some information about how others think you ought to play the hand. So Poker Tracker 2 does uh, work well with Bodog hand histories. You need to get a hand grabber. You can get one of those. Check out uh, I I Idle Miner. Those guys should have a Bodog hand grabber for you to grab the hand histories and throw them into your Poker Tracker 2. Um, I don't think that it works with Poker Tracker 3. It does work with Hold'em Manager, and those are the big uh, database hold your hand histories, let you crunch the numbers like you wouldn't believe programs that uh, more serious players use. And I think that that just about wraps up all the stuff that I have time for um, as far as Bodog Poker. The last thing to mention um, cash outs, if you get them by check, take forever. I'm uh, currently waiting on one patiently. Uh, I've never had an issue with them not showing up, but uh, I already know that when I push the button, expect it to be quite a wait. Um, that's it. I hope that this has helped.